This is Poker Listings. We're here at the EPT main event in Malta, and I'm standing next to Theo Jorgensen. But the first thing I want to talk about is not the EPT here, but the WSOP in Berlin. Now, being German, it is my special pleasure to ask you how you became such a great fan of the WSOP in Berlin. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't fun. Um, first of all, I don't think uh, they really thought it through when they decided where to go, considering the first problem with Berlin is the fact that you can't transfer money down there. So all the players have to walk around with loads of cash whenever you're traveling from the States or all over Europe, all over the world. To go there and play all the events, you have to have at least 50,000 with you. Uh, so the fact that they're doing it in a place where you're not allowed to wire money in is really bad. I heard you also commenting on the rake at the Berlin uh, uh, cash games. To me it seems like, I don't know, I don't think, I can hardly imagine that Berlin, Spielbank Berlin is, is having such a high rake. Uh, normally, from what I've heard, they just doubled the rake in the small games now that all the uh, fishes were in town. And to me, that's just disgustingly greedy. Do you think that Berlin in general is a good place to have it, or would you rather have the WSOP Europe somewhere else? Uh, I just think it's bad because Bill Bank Berlin, in my eyes, is extremely greedy and only thinking about uh, taking in as much money instead of uh, providing a great experience that could pay them back a lot of times. So it's mostly on the Spielbank side? I Well, it's on double WSOP uh, side just to take it to, to uh, Berlin in the first place. Uh, and they should have set some regulations down. They should have said, okay, well, yeah, it's a problem now that we can't uh, wire money in, but we want a maximum on the rake. We don't want you to uh, screw our players. Mm -hmm. uh, they could have done a lot of things different, but they didn't. Now, both in Berlin and here, one of the major issues people are talking about is that there are a lot of players stalling mm -hmm. near the bubble. Do you think that we have a growing problem here? Well, yeah, it's, it seems like a big problem. Um, and I think the only way to do anything about it is just uh, close the time and then uh, like play hand for hand a lot earlier and then stop the time and then uh, people, there's no ambition installing. Like now they're doing it with two players left, or three players left, to do it with eight players left in big tournaments. Do you think a shot clock would be, for example, would that be an option? No, it's, it's too complicated to have shot clocks on every single player. And uh, maybe you could, I don't know, say you have maximum one minute every single decision uh, when, when we're getting close to the there's a lot of different things that can be done, but it's, it, I guess it's hard to get it in. This week has also seen the WSOP announcing the inductees for the Poker Hall of Fame, John Duranda and Jennifer Harmon. Yeah. We're not arguing about whether they deserve it or not, I guess they do, but there's been discussion about if there's a bias of the Americans tending not to, use, not to pick a, a Europeans for the Poker Hall of Fame. Do you think that is true? <laughs> You know, considering this year's event, yeah, um, it seems to me like it might be going that way. Um, but I, 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 it's tough for me to say. I think Jennifer and uh, John Rwanda definitely deserves it. Uh, I don't think anybody would have been this upset if Devilfish didn't die. Uh, but now that he died, it, it feels like he deserved to get in, and I definitely think he des does deserve to get in. Uh, uh, yeah, the question is not so much that the Americans don't deserve it, no. but it, it, came, it would have been a nice gesture, I guess, yeah, if they it had picked it. Yeah, it would have been a nice gesture, but um, I, it, it seems to me like whoever decides might go on a little pro the Americans. That's uh, Poker Listings for tonight. Thank you, Theo Rogensen, and we'll see you next time.